This morning, lawmakers released the final draft of a state Senate probe into conditions at the Fulton County Jail. Atlanta Now News reporter Valencia Jones spoke with the sheriff and an inmate advocate about what the report revealed. What we found is that there are breakdowns in the system. The Senate Public Safety Subcommittee on the Fulton County Jail summed up the results of its months-long investigation. Dysfunction between the Fulton County Commission, District Attorney, County Judges, and Fulton County Sheriff Patrick Labatt. They launched the investigation last year as a result of jail conditions, including overcrowding and multiple inmate deaths. What we've discovered in the District Attorney's Office is dysfunction to where cases are being moved entirely too slow. There is dysfunction between anybody that does business with the Board of Commissioners. Four people in particular. They are very intentional about doing everything they can to limit how we as a sheriff's office interacts. And we as a sheriff's office have been very transparent from day one. The subcommittee's draft report lists 17 recommendations to work toward an overall solution, including better collaboration between the sheriff and Fulton County Commission. Working together in concert, in teamwork, with a professional front will be the first step into solving any problem. Inmate advocate Michael Collins also says he disagrees with any recommendation of a new jail or the transfer of the Atlanta City Detention Center to Fulton County. He says it would not alleviate jail overcrowding. A lot of the recommendations are things that are already happening. There are many things that can be done within the system, um, prosecutorial practices, diversion that can further reduce the jail population and therefore uh, reduce deaths. Subcommittee members say they will formally adopt the jail report when they return for the legislative session in January. In the meantime, they're hoping all of the agencies involved will follow their recommendations. Valencia Jones, Atlanta Now News. Fulton County Commission Chairman Rob Pitts acknowledged the report this afternoon. Chairman Pitts said many of the commission's recommendations to the subcommittee are already in progress. Pitts pointed to the multi-million dollar jail renovations currently underway. Also, the efforts to acquire the Atlanta City Detention Center and a resolution requiring the sheriff to follow the county's purchasing policies. Pitts says the commission looks forward to working with state lawmakers during the next session to implement more recommendations.